Showing up on the first day of school without the necessary supplies is not only uncomfortable for a student, but it can potentially cause a disruption in their academic success. That's why many local companies host school supply drives to collect items, which are then distributed directly to HISD students at our annual Back to School Fest. Here to tell us more about their company's commitment to HISD is Kelly Banks Tillman from H&R Block, Richard Shaw from Harris County AFL-CIO, Leia Stollar from Lineberger, Gogan, Blair, and Sampson Attorneys at Law, and Ms. Renee Delcour from Envoy. Thank you all for joining me today. Let's start with you three. I know that your companies did the Back to School Fest supply drives uh, last year. Richard, why don't you start and tell us a little bit about what you, um, you all did. Well, we work through our network. We have about a network of about 80 unions. So wow. we ask our unions to get involved and try to do collections at the union meetings and the union hall sites. And then we also ask our unions and union members to make contributions okay. and make direct, direct, direct contributions to fill these backpacks. That's wonderful. And let's talk about, uh, Ms. Stoller, what you all did with the uh, with Lineberger and Goggin, Blair and Sampson, attorneys at law. Well, we had previously done a um, supply drive of our own with a neighborhood elementary school mm -hmm. um, and had gone shopping for backpacks and uniforms and done our own little assembly line. So we were glad to be able to participate in something that was as big as this citywide. Yeah, uh -huh. it, 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 it is. It, it's, I mean, it's wonderful to have companies. Sometimes companies aren't able to financially support the, the, um, the initiative, but giving back with the donations, with the supplies, at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, is getting the, the, uh, the wonderful backpacks, the notebooks, the pens, the papers, and all the different things that the kids need. Renee, let's talk about Envoy, and what, what was your process with the supply drive? Well, we got up one morning and came to school at work and said, hey, <laughs> let's do a school supply drive. And um, we uh, formed a committee to uh, work with not only our corporate office here in Houston, but our, uh, our local branches. Mm -hmm. And we basically competed for a piece of party for departments. Oh. And that's what well, that's the kind incentive. of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, that led off our school drive. And then, of course, we had all these supplies and we had to find somewhere to put them. <laughs> and okay. that's, how we, that's well, how we headed up our school supply drive. Well, wonderful. Well, we have a newbie. We have Miss Kelly Banks Tillman, who is with H&R um, Block, and you're, this is the first time that H&R Block will be participating. Let's talk about how you all, your strategy for your school supply drive. Yeah, so H&R Block, we're always looking for ways to give back to the community, so we were really excited about participating in the Back to School Drive. Um, we have about seven year-round offices open in the Houston area, um, so we're actually using those year-round offices as collection sites, not only for clients, but for associates that work for us as well. That's great. What, what would you say to companies that that might be interested, but maybe thinking it's a little, you know, too difficult to to organize? Any kind of special tips? I know the incentives is a great way to to get folks involved. Richard, do you have any suggestions? Well, I think a lot of, uh, of course, a lot of folks have children, so they they're going to go and buy those supplies anyway. Mm -hmm. So I would say, you know, ask your company employees and buy buy the supplies, buy something extra, and bring it back and and put it in the box. Wonderful. Anything from you? I, the website, your website is so easy and very user friendly. So there's, it, it really makes it very easy to put this kind of a supply drive together with all the flyers and notices and mm -hmm. um, so. Yeah, we do try to make it um, as, as, as easy and, and even so much as going and picking up the supplies from the, the respective companies that host the supply drives for us so that um, we can make it easier for you. Uh, we also give, like you said, the the list of preferred items that are the, the main necessary items, so that kind of keeps you on track. Mm -hmm. um, so how long do you, you, you start from the, the school supply time, the, the window of time that Rose Adams, who's our right. coordinator, well, we does? we started, the last year was our first year, so uh -huh. we started before we knew about what we're gonna <laughs> give the supplies to. Um, so we did, a, yeah, about a month, and that gave uh, everyone time to um, go shop and get everything that, and like Richard said, it, it was, you know, you're buying for your kids anyway. Um, they usually pick up a couple of more items and uh, donate them to our, to our uh, cause. So. Yeah. And also our company matched what we all donated, so that Did was they? another incentive as well. Okay, yeah. that, that's great. Right. And with, with H&R Blocks, H&R Block with so many locations, that's, that's a pretty big endeavor. Yes, we're just really excited. We have a lot of district managers getting involved mm -hmm. and just sending out emails to associates, hyping up the drive, and 
um, information given to our clients as they come in. So just trying to create a lot, a lot of excitement around it. All right. And I would even say that you know some companies who may think, well, we don't want to do all the different items for a particular level. You know, maybe just focus on backpacks and have all your employees only do backpacks so that it's a little bit more streamlined to make it easier for right. you. I mean, we welcome everything and and anything on that list. But if that makes it easier for a company to get involved, would you suggest? maybe taking that approach as well? Yes. Most definitely. Yeah. It was easier for us to have a list um, put together and um, the, and everyone just went out and, and purchased what they could. So Now I'm hoping some of y'all will be out there on the day of giving out some of those supplies, if not you, then some of your employees, because it is uh, a wonderful opportunity to engage and see the the excitement and the appreciation from the parents and the students who are the recipients of all the hard work that the employees have done um, on behalf of you know students and parents. So we invite you all to get your Back to School Fest t-shirt and get out there. We'll, we'll put you in a safe zone, Richard. Okay. You look a little apprehensive. But we'll get you in a good place where That'll work. we'll get you in a friendly place where the kids will you know be hugging you and be yeah. happy and. Uh, but we would love to have you know H and R Block represented, and the AFL CIO, and, and Lineberger, uh, Goggin Blair, and Sampson Attorneys at Law, as well as the Envoy uh, group of uh, employees. Um, we welcome all of you. Please share the information with you know fellow companies that you engage with. We we need as much participation as possible. But we appreciate you all stepping up to the plate, and we welcome you to the new uh, as a new Back to School Fest Supply Drive uh, company. So thank you all for being. On today and um, I would like to thank all of my guests for being on today uh, our show on the back to school fest and particularly shell for being our presenting sponsor uh, again once again mark your calendars for the 2012 city of Houston back to school fest along with HISD we will be hosting that on Saturday August 11th from 8 a.m. to noon at Reliance Center if you want more information about how you can become involved please visit HoustonISD.org forward slash Back to School Fest. I'm Colleen Allen. I'll see you next time on Community Connections.